Welcome back to Fishing Brothers everybody Hope you're all doing well Hope nobody's suffering too much I know it's getting really really difficult now with these lockdowns People not being able to get out fishing There is ways you can get out If you're close enough to cycle to a mark Then get out on the bike and give it a go But it's not easy taking all your gear Anyway, I put a question out on my Instagram um, a few weeks ago now asking if you guys wanted to see the full review of the new Phoenix Shadowmaster. This is the HM65R, the Shadowmaster version with the red light. Um, I've had it for a, for a little while now. I've taken it out on the bike with me on a good couple of sessions. So today I'm going to let you know what I think of it, about the features. And I'm also going to try to put to rest some of the issues that people have been having with the battery. Now, the longest I've used this um, fishing, using the turbo mode, but also not being careful, but using it as I would use any um, head torch, is 5 hours and 50 minutes. And when I go back to the car, I still had um, two bars of battery left on there. But I'm going to try and put that to rest today and show, prove to you that these batteries do last plenty of time. Anyway, let's get into it. Just wanted to show you guys some of the brightness levels first of all. Uh, you can see here this is the lowest brightness level. This is 50 lumens. And you can see it's, it's actually a great around the box light. Uh, if I can show you my box now. Absolutely perfect for a around the box, baiting up, doing whatever. Anyway, let's just start with that. 50 lumens. Then with one click of the beam. That is 150 lumens. Then we go up again, that's 400 lumens, then we go up again, 800 lumens, and then last one, that's 1200 lumens. That's actually coming up great on there, you can really see it. Back down to 50 lumens. Up through them again. Fantastic, that really shows up actually. And back down to this mode. And just so you guys know, I use for 90% of the time when I'm just generally using my head torch. I use the second setting, which is 150 lumens. This is ample to see a range of box and see what you're doing. Absolutely loads. And according to the uh, pamphlet, this gives you 14 and a half hours of runtime. And then what I'll do as well is I'll just show you guys the red lights. So that's the red light on the lowest level. Two, three, there you go. One, two, three, four. There we go. It wasn't the lowest level, so four there. There you guys go. I, I can't remember off the top of my head the actual lumens on this one, but um, as you can see, it's pretty bright actually. Back down to the bottom one. Turn that off. Turn this back on. What I would, um, I don't really get the opportunity to use the red very much. Um, I would tend to use that on sort of like shallow clear water marks, perhaps beaches, bass fishing, things like that. Anyway, there's your first look at the, uh, the different beams and the red flood. Here's a look at the actual torch itself. I'm sure loads of you have seen it already. That cap there screws off for the battery. You've got your beam, your red flood, and then just to show you guys on the top, you've got your flood button on the left and your beam button on the right. And if you tap your flood button, button it gives you your battery, how much battery you've got left. So I've got full battery there, or 80 plus percent because I've used it a bit. And on the back, just move that out of the way. This flap here, there's a USB C charger in there. So if you're a Samsung phone user, you get I, that's what I've got then. You can do that to charge and then just put that back in. Tuck it away. And there she is. It is a really nice looking torch. I love this uh, dark band on it as well. Uh, the great thing about it is, is that there is no huge battery pack on the back and there is no um, wire to a battery pack that goes in your hip either. Um, it's ultra ultra comfortable to wear really really is like I'm not you know and I think it looks really cool as well hard metal body just looks the business anyway 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue and I'm going to fish as normal and I'm going to show you it as I use it um, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, one last thing I wanted to tell you about. This actually has a lock f function as well, which is a really, really cool function. I don't know how many times me or people I've been with, the torches are turned on in their box on the way to a session, zaps the battery. So there's actually a lock function on this as well, so that none of the buttons work while it's tucked away in your box, bouncing about, waiting for the darkness to come. Right, let's get fishing. Look at this, a bit of driftwood. This is new. Full-blown tree. That thing's huge. That's brand new. Look at that. Hoppa! <laughs> Little Maddie going about his business here, look. If you know what you're looking for and you know where to go, there's some seriously big ragworm to be uh, found locally. Cool. Something I find a little strange though, I don't know if you can see it there. I'm going to light it up a little bit. Isn't that like a stone fly larvae? Three little prongs on the back. Obviously a freshwater invertebrate. But here it is, out in the salt. Strange. Freshly spooled reel. Blowing out a bit there. This is the uh, Tronics Pro Blaze in 20 pound, which is 0.37. Because um, it's a nice fresh new spool on there. I like to do a couple of overhead thumps and then a nice big chuck. Or at least one overhead thump and a big chuck before I get a bait on there. It's just habit, really. It's nicely spooled on there, but I want to get it bedded down. So I'll see if I can get some video. It's a bit dark. I'll see if I can get some video of me uh, hitting this one out now. Uh, start the overhead thumb. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm actually trying to light this entire video using the uh, Shadow Master. I'm also using my other Phoenix head torch, the uh, HP 30R, um, just to light me up when I'm casting. And hopefully you can see me. Let's give it a go. Okay, that went out like a dream. Time to give it a thumb now. Now let's try uh, a bit of a swing. Probably got a little bit of ain't some on the end of this lead now, but this is life. Give it a go. Lovely, happy with that. Let's get the first bait out, shall we? Just wanted to mention as well, the torch went on a quarter past seven, so it's just approaching an hour now. Just so, because I, again, I wanted to speak about the um, the battery life on this torch, because I've heard some people say it only lasts two hours on the uh, low settings. So uh, here we go. Hour so far. I realised I spoke about the lock, lock function, but I didn't actually show you guys how to do it. So just so you know, there's the two buttons on the top, like I showed you, and then press and hold both for three seconds. One, two, three, and then it's going to flash four times to let you know it's locked. And if you try and turn it on at this point. It'll flash like that again to tell you that it's locked. And then if you press and hold three times again, uh, three seconds again, it's got a flash, let you know it's unlocked, stays on the red, turn that off, 
and then there you go turn on as normal great function honestly because you don't want to be wasting battery for no reason in your box Just so you guys know, the settings I use when I'm fishing, uh, I use the second click, which is 150 lumens for baiting up and doing everything I need around the box, generally looking at the tips. Um, and then I use the third click for casting, which is 400 lumens. Then I use the high and the boost mode for things like, um, if I really need to see where my lines are going, or I use the boost mode for landing fish, for example, or sometimes bringing gear in. But uh, <clears throat> that's what I do, I just use the setting I need on the amount of light that I need. Anyway, let's have a look at these tips. Nothing happening as I suspected. I don't expect too much. Um, you know, a very limited where I can go. It's a small tide, which you do need a small tide for this venue, but it's a very small tide. So even though it rains, I'm getting a little bit of run. There's not many fish about anyway, so I'm not getting my hopes up. That is not how you want your baits coming back in. Looks better than when I put it out there. It's been there for a while too. Never mind, keep trying. Since the fishing's uh, not exactly on fire, as I suspected, so I talk about this Tronics Pro Blaze line. Um, this colour, I mean, I, I love the line anyway. It's a great line, like I say, low diameter, 0.37 for £20. So that's one good thing going for it. And there's a lot of lines that say that, but not all of them really seem to actually be, you know, that breaking strain. And as well, it feels like a nice consistent line as well. Like a lot of lines have like flat points on there and things like that. This feels like a nice good quality line but also it comes in a good selection of colors like this color purple the reason it's really good is because usually you find things like bright green or yellow lines they're great for at night because they shine up with a torch but they're terrible in the daytime because you can barely see them and then black lines or dark red lines are the opposite you can um, see them really well in the day but you can't see them at night whereas this purple which is quite hard to see here this purple is great in both it shows up great in uh, at night and uh, it also shows up great in the day so uh, yeah I really like it you know the colour aside from the actual quality of the line Just turn that around. Is there anything more satisfying than two parallel lines? Looks beautiful. Uh, just over three hours in. Still going strong. No pitch. Plenty of time though. Plenty of time. Positivity is key. Going. Well, the double pulley strikes again. Little blank saver, little coddling, only a few ounces, but saves the blank. See if we can get this hook out. That's gonna need a bit. That's gonna need a bit of surgery, I think. So uh, have a quick look. Little tiny coddling. Let's get that out and get him back straight away. Nice to see a bite on the rod though. Lovely jubbly. Fishing the double pulley. I was fishing just worm baiting close but nothing was happening. So I decided to hit one out. First time I did that, I had a small coddling. So we'll see if we can do it again.
four and a quarter hours now of run time. Still working absolutely fine. Still able to go all the way up and use the turbo, use all the boosts, use the high modes. I just don't know why people say that the battery life's no good. I mean, and I'm still going to be here for a few hours yet, so and I've got every faith that it's going to last. Like I said, I've had five and five hours, 50 minutes out of it, using it perfectly like I would use any other head torch. Just to quickly clarify as well, when I say I've had five hours, 50 minutes out of it, I don't mean the minute it died. I mean, that's the longest time um, I've had a chance to use it so far. And like I said, I still had two bars of battery on there, which means up to 60%. So in theory, if that is the case, I could get um, twice that length of time using it in the same way I do, which would be ample. I mean, most shore sessions are four to six hours, you know, so it's just ample, it's perfect. And I did a test as well, and in the test I had it go over eight and a half hours and I just got bored of waiting for it, so I just stopped it. But I just wanted to clarify that quickly, whilst I'm still waiting. Um, and it's just started to rain, but only spit in, so that's fine now. Right guys, I've just finished the session. As you can see, it's been on for over five hours I've just turned it off just to make this little clip here now so I think that puts the battery worries to rest um, I give it some good use using the high and turbo mode regularly um, probably more than usual because I was trying to film a few bits as well um, and like I say I use um, I go up and down through the modes depending on what I'm using depending on what I'm doing while I'm fishing um, a few final thoughts it looks great. I really, really love the way it looks. Feels fantastic. Feels like super quality. Um, very, very comfortable as well. Really easy to wear. No battery pack on the back. Small, compact design, considering there's quite a substantial battery in there. Um, you know, no um, like on your waist battery pack either. It's a really comfortable, really smart looking, great head torch. I really, really like it. If you're thinking about taking a plunge on one of these I absolutely think you should um, definitely definitely worth the money excellent piece of kit and even though I've got um, another Phoenix the HP 30R this is the one I've been picking up every time I leave the house at the moment so really really like it anyway I hope you uh, enjoyed that and you got a good feel for what I think of this head torch oh one last thing after five hours of use, let's see how much battery life we got left. There we go. That's two out of four batteries. That's half of the uh, battery indicators left. And two actually means 40 to 60% of battery life left. So theoretically, like I was saying earlier, same situation. After five hours of use, the way I use the head torch, theoretically, I could go for another five hours if I continue to use it in the same way I do. So that should cover all but the longest of, uh, of uh, darkness fishing sessions. And uh, yeah, it's a great head torch. I really, really like it. I really love the way it looks as well. It's a really like, good looking head torch. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, review. We managed to catch a little codling as well. Uh, I got to go and dig my bike out of a gully. And then I got a 35, 40 minute cycle all the way home. And I'm starving. Anyway, respect the fish, respect the marks, tight lines, and we'll see you soon. I've just gone home. It's quarter past, well, 12 minutes past one. Took a bit longer to get back than I expected. But I had to walk off the, off the ledges as well before I can get on the bike, so. Anyway. I just wanted to pop in and say that I used the third click, which is 400 lumens on the head torch on the way home on the bike. So it's been best part of another hour. And we've still got two bars left on the battery indicator, so it's still in the 40 to 60% range. Anyway, 
just thought I'd pop in and say that. Thanks for watching. See you soon.